All right, welcome back to some set 11 TFT with me, McGrathy. Oh my god, am I gonna get baited by fully adapted again? Fully adapted Silas. <laughs> Look, every time I see this augment, I go for it. And I almost never get anything, but I did put it on a one star Silas, and it was amazing. So I'm gonna do it again. I know I'm crazy. I. I know I'm crazy. Uh, and I know this is a bad idea. I know that. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, it's probably better to have a tank on here. Uh, Jax is probably better if we can get him, but uh, this is fine for now. So, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I actually threw out a Kabuko, which now I feel dumb about, but that's fine. Kabuko, Rek'Sai, Aatrox. Uh, Riven. Uh, who's the bruiser here? Uh, Tom Kench. Who are we missing? Uh, right. Silas. This is our, our main dude. And, uh, who's the last guy? Oh, yeah, that's right. Gallium. Okay. These are the dudes we're looking for. Uh, Lux moves the 4 2 augment to a random round. Ugh, this is. Ryan, get your shit together. This is not fun. I mean, this is, this is just silly. It doesn't... Uh, it's fine. Nobody listens to me anyway, so it's fine. All right. Any... Any good things here? No, that's fine. The other thing we could do, we could go Umbral, actually, because he's also Umbral. I just think that the Bruiser bonus is just probably too good. But if we went Umbral instead... We could drop these two really weak um, bruisers, and we could go some more Umbral units. So we could go Darius, we could go Yorick, we could go Yone, we could go uh, Silas is already the Umbral there, and then uh, Set, we could go this. Uh, although, no, we need the Alun as well. So this would be like 6 out of 6. But we'd have to, like, pick and choose our bruisers. But this could be, like, you know, just trying to get, you know, sort of one of these. I actually want to put Exalted in as well. Who's the other Exalted? Shen. Shen and Teemo. I need a Shen and a, or a Teemo here. And I don't expect to win any rounds early because uh, our, our comp sucks. But I would like to get the Exalted in so that we can at least be getting some free XP. Uh, so there we go. There's, there's this, there's this. Uh, we'll put this in. Put another bruiser in. I think this is better. We can just sell this for the gold. Uh, and let's put this one in. Uh, I guess we pick up another Darius just in case we want to go Darius. And we, we might need that spot. <clears throat> well, I think this will be pretty good. Like, the Umbral bonus is just really good as well, right? He gets a big shield. Yeah, so either we go, like, four bruisers, right? We need to give him some HP is the thing. This doesn't give him any HP at all. This just gives him, you know, a, a bit of magic resist. Yeah, 40, I guess. 40 armor. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um... It's the AP that it gives him that just gives him so much survivability. Why are we actually going to win this? Uh, okay. Darius is just sitting here tanking everything. Okay. I didn't think we'd win anything, but, uh, you know, I'll take it. Shen Timo. We need a Shen or a Timo. Is there any other... I'm trying to think of any other comps that would be... I mean, like... Invoker would be good too because then everybody starts getting mana and he's already getting a stupid amount of mana, so like that would be okay too. Um, uh, what do we want? We want the uh, yeah, we want the Negatron, right? Okay, let's we'll see if we can get a Negatron. Oh, there's also this too. Could be good. Uh, let's see if we can pick this. There we go. If I didn't get that, would have taken this and that would have been fine too. But we're gonna get another one of these. I. I, I swear to God, I get baited by this comp every single time. <laughs> it's like it's like the crab rave in my last video. Like I just I get baited by fully adapted. I just I I think it's so much fun, and I don't really know why. Because in this 
at least in this, um, it actually isn't that much fun. <laughs> we, I actually get wrecked uh, really hard, uh, and so it's it's you know it's not actually that much fun. Uh, I'm gonna put this here. I think it's actually pretty good on Tom Kench too, to be honest. Uh, here's my thing. How many bruisers do I have? Two, right? Yeah. I don't have my exalted yet, so I th think I put this in. It's probably better. I don't know. Maybe the damage from this is better because I don't really have any damage right now. But that's fine. We're okay. We're not. We're not gonna. Not gonna cry about it. We'll be okay. Uh, what are some other things that'd be good here? Yeah, like I don't. I probably just need four bruisers, right? So, do we take the Aatrox or the Riven? I don't know. Whichever one we get more of, I guess, we'll take that. We're also not going to get the set until pretty late. So, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, we also might be able to get Story Weaver in, but I don't think that really fits with our comp very much. So, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, still didn't get what we're looking for here. <sighs> Maybe this... Maybe this is better. I just want to get an exalted. Can I get another exalted unit? Like, please? Is that possible? Is that possible? Maybe we do this. Maybe we sacrifice. Yeah, I think this is fine. Have him in the middle. He gets to take a little bit more time to, uh, you know, do some more damage here. <coughs> He actually does good damage, like... Kench actually does some pretty good damage. I might actually leave it on Kench if... If I get a bunch of him for some reason. Uh, I might actually leave it on him. Like, he does good damage. Watch this. Yonk. He gets a huge shield, too. Yeah, Kench might actually be pretty good with this. We'll, we'll see. I'm... I think that the Silas is the best... Um, Galio is probably okay with it too, although I don't think he gains mana when he gets that buff, when he uh, when he uses his ability. I don't think he gains mana during that period, so it's probably not as good. Let me put this guy over here, I think. <coughs> Maybe I'll just do this. So he runs up. No, nah, he's gonna he's gonna end up catching that guy anyway. I'm not a, I'm not in uh, in danger of losing to this or anything, so I think this is fine. So we got two exalted. We need three. We still don't have this third exalted. Man, that really put us behind not getting that. That uh, kind of sucks. Okay, let's get. Okay, okay. Well, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. The other thing is we could get like a, uh, uh, a Titans, and two of these might be might be good as well. Maybe. Okay, we're up to fifty gold now. That's good. Two Kenches. I mean, three Kenches would be really good. Right? Oh, pretty good. All right, so that level up, exalted. Oh. I mean, I guess we do that. Can we get one more exalted unit? Oh my Jesus Lord! Oh wow. Okay, that's okay too. Uh, I guess I don't really complain about that, do I? I can't really say anything about that. Now here's the thing. We don't want this on Tom Kench long term. We want this on Silas. So if we pick up another Tom Kench, it's going to be hard to get that off. What is our plan there? Maybe I should have put it on the Yorick because I actually need the Tom Kench. But maybe we just leave it on the Tom Kench. I don't know. If we rolled at 7, we'd be looking for Alun, Tom Kench, and Yone. That's actually not bad. If we 3 star the TK. How could that go wrong, right? Is he as good as... Silas, though? I mean, he does a lot of damage. He does a good amount of damage. And he's quite tanky. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Alright, do I have to actually dance? I don't know. I really don't like these, these things, Riot. These are not fun. If anyone's from Riot, watch your neighbor. These uh, encounters need some work. They, they are interesting. Some of them are interesting. But some of them just felt like someone needed to hit a quota. Right? Um, 300 health. This is interesting because the bruisers get extra health. So that might come in handy. But I feel like I need more 
with a combat augment. Or an economy augment. Mm. One gold every round. No, I think I'll take this. I think that's fine. Okay. What did I get? Is this, uh, he's not, no, he can't be. Uh, I guess we put this in now. I'm gonna keep this just for now because I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, okay, that's good. We get, uh, oh, we don't get it. Hmm. I think I take this because this is just in Warmogs and Warmogs is amazing on Bruisers. I feel like that's pretty good. Who do I put it on though? I think it's probably him. It's probably fine. I don't really want to use a Last Whisper on anyone. I feel like that's kind of a waste. But he's going to be a good tank, so I feel like that's not a horrible decision. <coughs> um, has our our hope of putting Exalted in, has that been totally killed, by the way? Oh, dude, wow. Sterix, two double titans. That seems... Oh, double Gargantuan resolve? Awesome. That seems like it's going to be really fun to deal with later. Okay, here's the Exalted. Do we go down to four Bruiser for this? I mean, we're kind of lost streaking, right? So does this really matter that much? Not really, right? Not really, right? Yeah, see, I think these Adaptive Helms are not very good on Galio because they... When he's casting his thing, uh, which he casts for quite a while, he doesn't gain any mana. But Silas does. Silas casts immediately and can gain mana right away. So he can, like, chain cast his ability. That's why I think he's really good. Tom Kench is a fun champion to use it on, but I, I don't think it's the best, to be honest. Uh, but it's nice. Galio's uh, thing is good for him because he gives uh, magic resistance stuff. And he gives a shield to his ally, so that is pretty good. Oh, he got killed. Oh, Yoni going crazy. That's fine, Yoni. You do you, buddy. You do you. We're not getting many of the uh, Umbral units, so we might be pushing the Bruiser units here. I think that's okay. It'd be nice to get at least a few, maybe two... Because just for the execute, oh, this is exactly what I need, or almost exactly. That's really good. Thank you. Now I can start getting the Tom Kenches. I'll sell this one. Unfortunately, I have to sell one, but that's okay. I'll sell one. I've got this. Oh, I've got the. Oh, this is not ideal. I thought I had a mana crystal, but I don't. I actually have a dragon's claw already. But that's okay. We got the unit we want, so that's what this was about. We have another one of these, so you know maybe we put a dragon's claw on someone else, like on here. Maybe that's okay too. If we already, if we get another of what we're looking for here, um, I guess this just goes in here. He goes here. He goes here. He goes here. That goes there. I think that's fine. I'm gonna sell this. And start loading this guy up. And then we're gonna wait. Quicksilver would be good uh, for someone as well, maybe. Nah, actually, that's not really that good, to be honest. We're just we're just leveling up still. We're just leveling up. Our team was also exalted. Maybe I should put that in instead of Darius. We'll get some backline damage, I guess. I'll do that. I I could I could get into that. We could also we need oh we need four bruiser. We still we, we need one more bruiser in. <coughs> it's okay. We'll be seven after this. We'll be able to do that really easy. I don't know if we're using this Kabuko long term. Probably not, but let's let's see. Let's see. I, I'm fairly certain we're not getting three star Kabuko, but you know, you never really know. You never really know. Jeweled Lotus. Uh, this crit could be really good actually, because that makes. Uh, we don't really need the Shen actually, right? Uh, we want uh, this in. Oh no, we need the umbral. Okay, we've got to have that for the umbral bonus. Although we do have this. No, that's only two. Uh, we're going like this, and we're putting. I guess this is still better. Two star Kabuko is still better than a one star. Uh, 
Aatrox, so I'll put that in. That's fine. We need to find one more mana crystal for him. And we can roll a little bit. I, I think we wait till 8 to roll, because I really do want the Silas. I think we just... We suck it up, we go... Uh, let's see if we win this one. If we... Oh, this guy's got a Toxin. Kaisa, that's... Uh, that's rough. That's very rough. But see how much... See how much he casts? He just gets mana like crazy. Um, Silas. He's just permacasting. He's gonna do so much damage. And he his ability crits too, so he really does a stupid amount of damage. When he's three-starred, or if we three-star him, it's gonna be really disgusting. It will be really disgusting. I think we can actually roll a little bit on seven, because we do have the Exalteds in. We do have four Bruisers, like... When we drop the two Exalteds, we'll get two more Umbrals, or... Oh, it's actually gonna get... Oh, man. Okay, I think we dropped the Exalteds now. I think we don't care about these. I think this is too good. Uh, do we put the other Bruiser in, or what? What do we put in now? I guess the Yone, right? For an extra Umbral. Could give him a Quicksilver or a Runins. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's just wait a sec. And let's see what we get. Um, we're ditching this and this now. We don't need those. Okay, more of those. Did we get a mana crystal? No, but we got another one of these. God damn. Okay, well, let's give you one of these then, anyway. Uh, Ionic Spark would be good on... Oh, I don't want to use that last thing, though. Morellos? No. Guardbreaker? No. Hmm. Ginsus? <laughs> Is there anybody here who wants Ginsus? I mean, a loon, I suppose. Oh, you know what? Heart is empty I think we do empty. this. Uh, we are going to print some units. What are we going to print here? Uh, we need this. We don't need this. Although, could we just print a three-star Kabuko for no reason? That'd be fun. How many more do we need? We need a few more. Mm, I don't think that's a great idea, though. We did get the ribbon. Let's just keep going here. We did get another Tom Kench. I think Tom Kench is probably the best thing to be getting until... Oh, there we go. Silas. Let's do the Silases. Yeah, as we, if we can get as many Silases as humanly possible. That would be great. Now, we got the Riven here, too. I don't think we're using that. I think the Aloon is probably better. Although, maybe I should have kept that, because maybe we're going to go Umbral after all, but... We have so many bruisers, uh, I don't know. I think that's good. Oh, I'll, I'll keep this for now. I'll keep this for now. I'm gonna put Yone back here. Or, uh, what's his name back here? I'll I'll keep one of these. I shouldn't have sold that other one before I knew what I was doing. That was uh, a little bit short-sighted. Uh, what are we doing here? Do we have... Yeah, we have a Shen here still. Why do we have a Shen here still? We don't need that. What do we need instead? This one, I guess. Yep. Okay, and we're chilling, everybody. Morello's on a loon, maybe? I could get behind that. I could do that. Last Whisper on somebody? Not really, because uh, we don't really do any, any physical damage at all. <coughs> Uh, does Silas beat this guy? That's the real question. I don't think he does at one star. Oh, dude, he did almost. Wow, that was pretty good. Boom, boom. Get it. One more hit. Oh, so close, dude. So fucking close. Uh, why am I up there BMing people? Sorry, guys. I wasn't BMing you. I was just trying to get my units. Okay, let's keep going here. Driven is good. Let's swap that in for this. I shouldn't have done that, but that's fine. Okay. We're doing well. We're doing well. This is good. We have a couple of good items anyway. Not, not great items. But, I mean, a red buff would be good on uh, a loon. A thief's gloves would be good on some of the bruisers as well, because they tend to get good items for melee. So, like, a thief's gloves on him isn't the worst in the world. Um, Steadfast Heart would be good on Galio because it gives him uh, just some 
extra damage reduction. Um, and he's basically the main tank of the group, so I feel like that's fine. I feel like we've kind of stabilized here. We're, we're not doing too bad. We're still losing a bit, but we're not... Uh, it's not too bad. I might just keep going up to 8. I feel like that's not bad. I might just go 8, get 8 trucks in. Or... Yeah, I think Aatrox is the best. Yeah, he doesn't win that. That's fine. We're really close, though. You see how we're really, really close? Oh, maybe we do need to keep going, or we are almost dead. Okay, if we can get a Silas here. Ah, we can't. Shit. Kabuko, no. What do we want here, really? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we need one of these, for sure. That's easy. Boom. Boom, okay. This is fine. This is what we're going for. This is what we're going for. We're gonna make it now. We're gonna get. We're gonna get more of him. We're printing one more, and we'll get that in one more round or two more rounds. So that's fine. I think it should be two more, one more round, right? Didn't we just do? Won't this go three now? Will this go three now? I, yeah, it will. So that's good. Now we have our third one of these. I think we just need to get a couple of. Oh, that's. Really fucking good. Oh, who do we take out? We have five bruisers. I don't need this. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this. Uh, he's got 1960, he's got 2282. So this guy goes here. And. Last whisper, I guess. I guess that's okay. <laughs> Maybe not my first choice, but I feel like that's fine. We, we do have a bunch of Yones here. Uh, it's not that bad, to be honest. Some items for set now would be good. That was a really good pickup, by the way. Um, <laughs> we might stay at four, four bruiser now. Um, I think we will. I think we changed the Kabuko out for the Ribbon or Aatrox. What's better, Ribbon or Aatrox? Mm, I think Aatrox is probably better. Oh man, we're still losing. Oh, just then the content. Really funny name, really funny name, buddy. Okay, we got this now. Okay, we're gonna take this out. Uh, are we? Champions purchase gained 100%, 100 permanent health. Okay. It seems really good. Galio, a loon. A loon. Oh, we're not using the York, right? Uh, we put this in here, right? We get yeah, the extra bonus from that. Don't need the Darius. I actually don't need the Dwarves. I don't know why that's still in there. Uh, we don't need Riven. We don't need York or Darius. Well, I guess Darius could go in, technically speaking. But I think this is fine. Okay. Let's not lose this now. We do have a two-star Silas, so that's a pretty big power spike for us. He is going crazy on the damage. Uh, yeah, this is kind of OP now. Even even dirty bard players can't get through that. Yeah, take that I'm a ward. Okay, we got the bruisers in. We get Atrex. We don't need Riven anymore. We can actually sell her, get some more money. Do we have Riven in the comp, though? I think we have... No, we don't. She, no, it's Aatrox. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We have a PvE round now. And we're going to try to... get something. I think we do this, actually, now. Because, yeah, he's got more HP than the Tom Kench. Although we're only two, two Tom Kench away from uh, three-star Tom Kench, which is uh, pretty massive. We need to get some more of these, though, and some more of these. So... I, I think if we're stabilized here, we probably need to go level 8, to be honest. Probably need to go level 8. Oh, that's really good. Well, that was satisfying. Could we get another one of these? Put it on Tom Kench, maybe? Okay, that's really good. I have a bunch of these, too. Uh, no, we can't, but that's fine. Um, who do we, what do we do here? I guess we go... Uh, one of these, one there... Okay, that's good. Okay, more Silas, that's good. Okay, two-star Galio, that's 
actually amazing. All right, we got our units. We're we're really good. This is what we're going with, basically. Next unit in is going to be probably Invoker. Annie, maybe. Right? And Annie with this. If we can get another couple of those, Annie is fucking amazing with that, too. Okay, three-star, what, Alawi? Jesus. Okay, we do have Moralos, though, on here, which is really good. We have our two-star Silas going nuts. Dunking on those fools. We do have almost a three-star Alun, which would help. Yeah, these units, if we can three-star the Alun and the Yone, uh, we're doing really well. He doesn't have any items, but that's fine. Th this is a Silas game. We are here to enjoy the power of the Silas, nothing else. Because that's what we're trying to do. Uh, based on the Chosen Spirit, okay, we want magic for her, right? Who's doing the most damage here? Set. Oh, maybe a... Maybe attack then? Yeah, I think attack is the way to go. Oh, good. Okay, perfect. This can go here. And now, you are very tanky and amazing. Okay. Oh, there's the Annie. Do we... Oh, we're 32 away, though. Okay, that's okay. Let's just think about this for a sec. Annie would be really good, but... Mm. Okay, this is fine. We're okay. Oh, this is a three-star Thresh. Interesting. Only a two-star Aphelios, though, so I feel like we still have the damage. And if he goes to the back line... Yeah, there we go. That's that's easy kills, then. Man, he gets so much mana. He just slaps so hard. Set is actually out-damaging him, though. <laughs> that's just because Set gets his, like, his attack damage off, and it just goes wild for a couple of seconds there. Yeah, see, he just slams down and just does so much damage. Uh-oh, did we lose this? Uh, no. Silas is still alive. Silas, like, almost can't die, right? And he heals, right? Yeah, he heals for AP health, too, so... He does a bunch of healing as well. <coughs> really good. I mean, if we lose a round, we lose a round or we're dead. But this is... Look, guys, sometimes people make videos... And it's not about the actual video that I'm making. Sometimes it's just about the concept. And the concept here is that Silas is amazing. And the concept is correct. Silas is amazing. That's what matters here. Uh, 28. If I sell this, I'm not quite there. But I'm kind of close. I want to get Annie in. I feel like that might help a little. Although Invoker, is that really is that really helping a lot? Let me, let me think about this for a second. Is that really helping a lot? He's already getting a lot of mana. Mana on other people is eh, okay. Like, mana on the loon is pretty good. But we're not getting, like, everybody. We're not giving 20 to her. I think rushing to 8 is okay, but I don't think it's the most important thing. Wow, this guy. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Oh, set only did one thing. Yeah, I think rushing to 8 is good, but let's see what's on here. If we can get a set on Carousel, then I think it's, it's yeah, we, run, we rush to 8. Oh, these guys have the extra health, too. So how does that work when they go three-star? Do they get that, like, this guy and this guy both got bonus health, right? So does that mean I get, like, 300 bonus health if I bought three units in that three time? Like, I, don't, I don't know how that works. Uh, Mythic Ombro. Oh, my gosh. Uh, let me think about this for a sec. I think this is the best, right? Because then we can go... Then we can go Umbral without the Yoni, if we, if we want to dump it, we can dump that out. And we could put Umbral on like Tom Kench, for instance. Okay, we could go we could go level 8 here. Do we want to dump this Yoni? How much damage is he doing? Not that much. What do we do? Is this okay here? I think this is okay here. And I think we dump this and we go like this. I think this is the plan. Let me say goodbye to this. So we don't need the Yoni. I think this is what we do. Doesn't that make sense? Next round we go to eight. And if we three-star this, great. If not, that's fine. We will three-star this. And we're hoping to three-star this. If we can three-star the Silas, it's all over. Like, we're not going to lose. He can't. He basically will never die right? Four Bruiser. 
We could even go six bruiser and he just, I mean, or eight bruiser, he just would never die. He just does so much damage and he does, um, he's a frontline unit too, so he always has a loon behind him as well, just killing everybody. So yeah, I think, I think this is the best. Now who do we put in? What's next to go in? Ghostly's not that good. Warden would be okay. Um, porcelain would be okay. I think for now we just put another one of these in. We'll find something on the way. We'll find something on the way. Um, don't really need another Umbral unit. Don't really need another Bruiser unit. But we could drop the Annie for two Bruisers and just drop the Invoker. It might be okay. Problem is now we're like, okay, do we put in like Ribbon and Rexon? Those are pretty shitty units, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. We're we're definitely stabilized. We're definitely okay for now. So I'm, we're not hurting for anything. So let's just chill. We're we're almost on stage six here. Um, what am I what am I looking for to add to this? Nautilus would be pretty good actually, because when we get Mythic too. No, we're only one Mythic. What's the what's the what's the six cost that we need here? What's the six cost we need? Or five cost, six cost. Five. Oh, we could get the uh, Azir instead of Annie. That would be pretty good. This is actually better because of the ghostly. I don't know if she's gonna do as much damage, but we'll see. Um, Archangels, I feel is probably best. Well, here's the question. If he's three-star, do we put items on him? Or do we just say, a loon might get three-star, and so this is better on her. I think that's better on her. We already have some stuff on her, so I feel like that's pretty good. Okay, that's really good. Ooh, porcelain sniper too. That could be good. No, that's not good. We don't need that. We only have one story weaver, right? Yeah, because we dropped the ribbon. If we didn't drop the Ribbon, we could have gone three-story Weaver, and that would have been pretty good, but... I feel like this is just really... I mean, this is just really strong, even without these three-starred, and we're, you know, we're on the way to three-star them, so... I think that would be really good. If we can get some more economy going... How much damage did Morgana do? Dude, she did... Okay, 676 wasn't that great. What's this? Two component anvils. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll take this. Get a little bit of tank for that guy. I feel like maybe putting this over here is better. This is 30, 80, 20, 40. I mean, there's not that much difference. I think this is fine. We're not really at risk of him dying or anything. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Oh, uh, do we get this instead of this? I don't think so. I think the Azir I would take. Just because it's better to have some backline damage. Um, and Azir, Azir puts up his little minions, but like, look how the Annie just gets wrecked right away. That's just not, not good. Oh, then they go right to the backline. That's actually not good either. Maybe I need to move her away. But our Silas. <laughs> oh, so much damage, dude. Wow, we're already top three on this. That went really, really quick. Okay, I mean, a, a two-star Annie I would keep. A two-star Annie I would keep. Invoker is three at uh, two or four, so it's not worth it to put in another one of those. I feel like we could... I feel like we'll wait one more. Let's see what happens here. One more. We'll be top two if this guy dies. I think that's okay. I'm going to move that over here, too, and I'm going to do this. I want the Annie to at least survive a little bit. Okay, this is the three-star Alawi with the Toxin. Oh, no, that's Vitality. Vitality is really good, too, but she doesn't attack very quickly, so she doesn't get that much from it, to be honest. Uh, hoping a Loon just uh, one-shots uh, her. Yep. Boom. This is really strong. We're, we haven't three-starred every, anything. Everything is two-star. Set still one-star. We have, like, some really not great units in, like... Uh, I feel like this is just really strong, and oh, 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 we're gonna get this. 
dude, can we three star this? Let me three star this. Please let me three star this. I mean, we're, no, it's one round and we're over. We're going to roll everything to three star as much as we can for the tubers. For the tubers. Here we go, three star. Okay, and he will take it. Now we're only looking for set. And, uh, what's his name? Don't care about Annie. Don't care about Annie. Don't care about Huey. No, Annie. Oh, Illumin. I'll take that. Ah, bummer. We're not going to get the three star. He's going to be dead now. Or I'll be dead now. Either way. I'll right, put this on here for sure. Well, GG either way. GG either way, my friend, but you're getting fucking cutscened, brother. Boom. Super strong. I'm really glad that this finally worked out for me. I've tried a lot of units uh, with this fully adapted, and now I finally found one that worked, and I didn't low roll absolutely everything, so really good. Uh, thank you to CPU Cores for my sponsor. Uh, download CPU Cores, just buy it off Steam. It's like 16 bucks, and it's usually on sale like every second week or whatever, so you can pick it up for like 8 bucks. It's amazing. Uh, it makes your computer go faster because it lets your CPU use, or it lets your game use more uh, resources that the CPU Cores will allocate from your CPU, so makes it better. Buy them. CPUCores.com or you can buy it straight from Steam. Either way, appreciate you guys. Um, oh, and it works with non-Steam games too, so it does work with TFT. Um, anyway, thanks very much for watching the video, guys. I hope you watch the next one. I had a great comment where someone said that they were uh, putting me on before they went to sleep because I don't scream like a retard in my videos, and I'm just sort of soft-spoken. That's true, because I usually have kids in bed around me or upstairs in my house, and uh, sometimes even my wife is asleep behind me. And I don't want to wake any of them up. That's like a cardinal rule. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks very much. See you in the next video.